Ready? All right, guys, so we're going to seal up this uh, foundation crack here. We're going to use this Zisner watertight hydraulic cement. We've been mixing this thing forever. Supposedly, it's a two to one ratio, they tell you. I found it's actually about a two and a half to one ratio to try to get something decent. Wear the rubber gloves. I had a lot of leaks in here lately, so we're just going to take this, and I guess I'm supposed to use the gloves and try to force it in my hands. Here, I'm trying to. The point we're trying to do, guys, here is we're trying to smush it in to the leak, you know, to where the hole is. I had some, I had some polyurethane sealant on top of this, but it wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting on top, so hopefully we're supposed to go use our hands and kind of push this into it, right, guys? We all know what hydraulic cement is, right? So. That's what they use over on the, um, what was that thing? Deep water, whatever it was, the horizon. When it freaking blew up, they were pumping all that hydraulic fluid and tear to fill up the space. So that's what we're doing. We're putting some hydraulic fluid in here. Hydraulic cement, I should say. So apparently, this will hopefully smush into the hole because this was done previously with a previous owner had somebody come here and do the polyurethane basement crack seal that we've all seen done 50 million times on YouTube, right? But for some reason it has failed and it's been failing for years and I just can't find any receipts for the people who did the work. So rather than pay somebody else to try to do that again, I don't really know if you can do that again. So hopefully, this is going to help, guys. This is all very exciting, huh? Get up in here and push this. I'm trying to push it in to the crack. That's obviously why I'm wearing gloves. Can you imagine how messy this would be if you didn't wear gloves, right? They specifically tell you to wear gloves. So I think that's a good idea. And now we'll switch to this hand, because that hand's completely soaked with stuff. It's a fun job, guys, but it's also a fun job when you have to, uh, when you have big rains and you have towels all over the place and you're constantly dealing with water on the floor and washing towels and drying towels because it's a big freaking mess everywhere. So, hopefully, this is going to work. So, you guys get the picture, right? Try to seal up this leak using this Zisner watertight hydraulic. Cement. 